If you've been following this channel for a while, you've probably seen that I have documented a bunch of project cars owned by many different people and two years in, it's finally time to start my own project. My name is Ivan and this pile of trash behind me is my 1981 Mark I Golf. I chose to build a Mark I Golf because I used to own one. My second car was a Mark I GTD from Germany and it's probably my favorite car that I ever owned. It was British Racing Green. It had some minor mods and it was also a piece of crap but I just loved the thing. I owned it for two years and, and ever since I sold it I just wanted to get another one and probably a better one than that one and somehow I ended up having a worse one but it's okay. The humidity was killing me outside and I was craving a coffee so we'll continue inside. I'll overlay a bunch of footage of the car, of the work that's been done until now and everything else while we talk about it just so you can see what's been done to it and all the info about the car. But anyways, I've owned that thing for like two years and the car is in Croatia but I live in Spain, Croatia is my home country so I'm gonna be working on it whenever I come down to visit and stuff like that. And right now I'm here for another 13 days and in those 13 days my plan is to prep the car, primer it and paint it. That way it's all painted, it's nice and it will give me more motivation to come down and work on it as much as I can. This is not going to be a standard YouTube build which lasts a month. The car is done and it's an amazing build. This thing's gonna take time and if you're in it with me for the long run, I'm going to document the whole process, the whole rebuild and hopefully at some point some engine swaps, stuff like that, but we'll see when we get to it. I've decided to get a Golf because my second car I ever owned was a Mark I Golf. It was a GTD, a much more interesting spec than this one. This one is just a regular 1.3, it's white, it's not even a German car, it was built in Yugoslavia what is now Bosnia in Sarajevo. It was built in 81, I believe. It's a 1.3 engine. I don't know what's the power on those, but it's definitely low. And my plan with it is to first restore it to its original shape because any modifications you do to a car in Croatia need to be inspected by a specialist. You need to pay to make it road legal and everything and to make it easy on myself to start I just want it completely stock, everything brand new and just make it a nice stock restored Mark I Golf. After that we're gonna dump it on some wheels, I already have Borbet A's in 16 which I think might be too big for the car, I don't know, leave a comment below. But for now, if I keep the barbettes, I'm gonna paint them white because in my opinion the only time white wheels are acceptable is if the car is white and I'm gonna keep the car white because I don't want to paint the interior and also because the white will help hide all the mistakes that I will inevitably make when preparing the car for paint, especially with having so little time to do this. This is not my first time doing a project like this. A few years ago, actually during COVID, I restored, well restored, rebuilt to a half decent shape a 1988 Volkswagen Polo, I believe they're called 86C. And I think the process for this car will be basically the same. That Polo and this Golf share the same engine. They are basically the same car, just a slight body difference. The Polo is a bit smaller, but same, same. So as I said, I got the Golf two years ago and last year during summer I came down with the goal to paint the car while I was here. When I was buying the car, the guy I was buying it from assured me it had good bones, that it wasn't rotten, that it didn't have any holes on the floors and stuff like that, which then I sent a friend to check it out and he told me the same thing. So. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do any body work because I definitely can't weld well enough to weld a car floor and also I don't have a welder and anything like that so I was hoping that would be true but unfortunately when I started digging through the car I took everything apart, I started going through the floor and I actually went through the floor. 
So there was a decent sized hole in the floor on the driver's side. There was there were holes on the inside of the seals and that kind of stopped me. It really killed my momentum and I didn't want to work on the car anymore. I was thinking about selling it. I tried to sell it. A bunch of people came and looked at it, but in the end backed out, which I don't blame them. It was definitely not as bad as a lot of golfs that I see. My old golf was much worse by the time that I sold it. That thing was open on the floors on both sides and it needed a whole bunch of bodywork, which is why I ended up selling it. This thing was much better, but it still needed a decent amount of welding and it was summer, everyone was busy, no one could do that for me at the time so I just pushed it aside and enjoyed my time in Croatia and this time around I managed to make my friend Sebastian take the car and start working on the floors and by the time I got to Croatia he was just about done yesterday the car was still at his place actually and he was welding the last bits there's still a small hole on the side of the car on the arch which he will come here to weld probably this weekend but generally the floors are good they're solid he did a great job on them we just need to seam seal everything and protect it and make it last for as long as it can and this brings me to now so the plan of attack for this car is start sending it the first thing i'm gonna do is just send down every single spot where there is surface rust spray it with some rust converter protect it and then start sending the whole car from the outside to prepare it for paint. Hopefully I managed to find a paint put where I can paint the car but I'm not completely sure so we might be painting in God's paint put aka outside. Yeah we'll see fingers crossed we get a paint boot. I'm painting it white as I said keeping the same original color of the car keeping it nice and simple. For parts I already got an engine last year which is somewhere at my friend's garage hopefully if not I'll need to get another one but I don't think I'm gonna get to the engine this time around I'll probably gonna be doing engine and suspension next time I come to Croatia and yeah I need to source basically everything the whole suspension if my engine is not good, I will need a new engine. Or best case scenario, I can use my engine but still need the radiator, hoses and every single other part. It needs a new tank, it needs the whole tube filling thing for the tank because it's all rotten and it's falling apart. And yeah, it needs everything. Anything a car has, this car needs. The interior is decent, I don't have the seats, those were destroyed, but the headliner is good enough where I don't want to change it. It has a few small holes, but nothing major and nothing that really bothers me. The dashboard is in decent condition, I won't be changing that. I already got a new speedo, I got the grill with single headlights, which I want to use. I also have a double headlight grill with the fogs but I don't want to run fogs because I think single headlights looks better so I need to source headlights I have one but I don't know if I'm gonna find an exact match for that one so I'll probably get both I need taillights I have one but it's kind of broken so I need both and I don't know I need everything anyways this is just an introduction to the project and in the next video you'll see me preparing it for paint. I'm really hoping I manage to finish it in the next less than two weeks, 13 days that I have. And yeah, if so, we'll have a nice white painted empty shell of a Mark 1 Golf. If you have any tips on painting cars, this is only my second car I've ever painted. So I'm definitely not the best at this. If you have any tips on anything else regarding a golf. If you have ideas on where the best places to find parts in Europe is or anything like that. Also, if you live in Europe and have any parts that I might need, send me a message on Instagram or something and we'll try to figure something out. And let me know if you think I should keep the Borbet 16s for the car or get something a bit smaller and a bit more maybe fitting to the car like a 15 or a 14. I know I don't really want to go for a 13 because I think it's a bit too small but a 14 or a 15 might be perfect for Mark 1 Golf. I don't know. Anyways, 
leave any useful info any opinions below in the comment and i'll see you in the next video where we start prep for painting the car